Hi there, my name is Paul Schutte. I run a company called First Class Fundraisers, and you're watching our DVD kickoff video. We've been working with groups on their fundraisers for a long time, longer than you've been alive. We work with about 100 groups a year, helping them to raise over $500,000 each year. The money raised goes to pay for all kinds of group expenses. Your teacher will tell you more specifics about your group's needs. Some of the groups we work with have traveled to Kings Island, Cedar Point, Disney World, Washington, D.C., the Bahamas, Hawaii, and even Europe. The average students we work with that are traveling make $100 from this fundraiser to help pay for their trip. <coughs> We've had thousands of kids pay for whole trips with their group on one fundraiser with us. The point is we help students like you raise anywhere from $40 to help pay for group expenses to $3,000 to travel overseas. I've been where you're at, meaning the kids selling stuff, so lots of different stuff when I was a kid. Most of it still happens these days, like candy bars and raffle tickets and bake sales and car washes. However, the two worst fundraisers I ever had to do, both of which taught me valuable principles we incorporate in our business are candles and fruitcakes. Candles, not really a bad fundraiser, if you're a girl. I don't care about candles, still don't. I have a wife and four daughters. They like candles. However, for me to explain selling candles as a fundraiser to girls would be like me asking them to sell power tools. Now, honestly, as a kid, I didn't care much for power tools. My dad tried to get me to. However, what he didn't do was let me play with a chainsaw. That would have been a lot of fun. I would have probably damaged lots of things, which is why he didn't. The point is, if you're not excited about what you're selling, it's hard to ask other people to order something you really don't care about which is one of the many reasons we've provided samples of our product for you to taste. Fruitcakes, as a kid, I didn't like them. As an adult, I still don't. My parents didn't either. I knew one person in the world who did, and that was my grandpa, but he was old. He was so old that he could take his teeth out of his mouth and show them to you. And he did this when it was time for ice cream, trying to gross us out so he could get more. So as a kid, I figured fruitcakes must be an old person thing. Therefore, if I went to grandpa's neighborhood, I'd be able to sell lots of fruitcakes. Made sense to me, right? Wrong. Unfortunately, as I found out, most people don't like fruitcake. What that taught me was I need a product that everyone likes. The brochures you have in your hand are the best fundraising products out there, or as we like to say, first class fundraisers. How do we decide what's first class? We have a taste test with our family of five kids, 10 employees, and my extended family of 30 or more, including 17 nieces and nephews that are all about your ages. And what we look for to decide is if a product is first class is consensus. That means of 45 people trying, I want 40 people saying it's the best that they have ever had. Usually among that group is the mind changers. <clears throat> they didn't think that it was gonna be good and it changed their mind and I consider myself like your chef in the back room right now. We have provided samples for you to taste and see for yourself what you think of our product. It's not just words. Most kids think our fundraisers are really good. Most adults think it's the best fundraiser stuff they ever bought, and they wish they would have bought more. Our products are not available in any stores, restaurants, or wholesale clubs, only through us on this fundraiser. First product I'm gonna tell you about is called a butter braid. What is it? It's frozen pastry dough. You take it out of the bag and you put it on a pan and you let it sit there and it thaws, it rises, it doubles in size in about six to eight hours. You put it in the oven and you bake it for about 25 minutes. You'll get one of the most delicious pastry things that you'll ever eat. There's 10 different flavors. They all have filling inside. There's apple, cherry, cinnamon, cream cheese, blueberry cream cheese, strawberry cream cheese, raspberry, Bavarian cream with chocolate icing, which is like the inside of a Long John donut. And the newest flavor is the double chocolate pastry. Chocolate pastry, chocolate filling inside, extra big cream cheese frosting packet, which looks like this. Your letter tells you what dates and times for which brochure you're gonna be turning in, when your delivery is, your incentive for selling tips, and much more. And your teacher's gonna go over all those kind of details with you after this video and answer any questions that you might have or that I didn't cover with you. Um, on your delivery day, you need to make sure that you pick up your butter braid pastries at school and take them home to your freezer or deliver them to your customers so they can put them in their freezer. Why is this important? Remember how I just said earlier how the pastry, when you put it on a pan, it'll thaw and arrive. They tell us, we fix it, not a problem. What you shouldn't do is pick up your order without checking it and leave because you're in a huge hurry because then you'll end up owing for any mistakes that are made. 
Also, on all of our fundraisers, for every 20 items that you sell, you're gonna receive a free tub of cookie dough. It's either gonna be M&M or chocolate chunk. It will be delivered inside your order, so you check it at delivery, make sure it's in there. You can take it home, open it up, scoop it out, put it on a pan, bake it, and in 12 minutes you'll be eating cookies. Or as I know most of you will do, scoop it out and shove it in your mouth. Most parents think that you can't eat the cookie dough right out of the tub. However, our cookie dough is made with pasteurized eggs, so that means it's safe to spoon and eat. Okay? One of the many things you don't know about me is I'm a big, huge kid. What do I mean by that? It means I still think like a kid. One example of this would be I bought a season pass to Kings Island one summer so we could go there 10 times. On the best day ever, I got to ride the drop zone eight times in a row. Every Friday night in the wintertime from six o'clock in the evening, usually till one o'clock in the morning, I take my whole family skiing down at Perfect North Slopes in Lawrenceburg. And I get to ski for free because I'm on a ski patrol. What does ski patrol mean? It means I'm basically an EMT on skis. So if you're skiing sometime and you ski into a tree and you hurt yourself and you dial 911 on your cell phone, they generally won't help you. Uh, they'll call us. And we have EMT training and can transport you off the hill in a toboggan to whatever you'll need next. What does that have to do with cookie dough? The point is, I still think like a kid. So when your mom tells you, stop eating that cookie dough out of the tub, you know why I had it printed on the label, made with pasteurized eggs, so it's completely safe to spoon and eat. Another prize that we have for all the groups that we work with, we have two kids that have graduated from college. We have two kids that are still in college. College is expensive. So we started giving away a $1,000 college scholarship to the top selling kids of all the group, top selling kid of all the groups we work with. First year, it was won by a girl in Crawfordsville. She sold 125 items. And when we were awarding her the prize check, I said, Sarah, how did you do this? And she said she asked her mom to take a brochure to work. And a little smarter than me and the average student out there, she also asked her grandma and her aunt to take a brochure. So they each sold 40 items for her. That was how she sold 125 items, paid for her whole trip to Florida, got six free tubs of cookie dough and a $1,000 college scholarship which is a good tip for you. I've had other kids that have sold more than that. I had a girl in Gary, Indiana, sold 150 items herself. What she did was she got a hold of the church directory and literally called every family in the church A to Z, called them all. Another kid in Newcastle that tried the traditional way, which I was told to do when I was a kid, which was door to door. Tends to be legal in most schools, and I'm not telling you to do this, but this is what he did. He sold 165 items on a Sunday. One day, 165 items going door to door like he was going trick or treating. So <clears throat> my tips to you would be this. Talk to people that love you and know you first. Where are most of those people conveniently located? You carry them around with you all the time on your phone. Call the people on the phone. If they want to see a picture of the brochure, what do you do? Take a picture and text it to them. You guys know how to do that. When you're talking to people, always remember these three simple words. So important, they're putting on every one of our brochures. Are you busy? That's the first thing you should say to them. I can remember one time that I turned my son down to have a friend spend the night. He asked, can Quentin spend the night? I was working on a ceiling fan standing on a ladder. And I said no. The reason I said no was because I didn't know what the other plans were for the rest of the family. And so it was just easier to say no. So if you say, are you busy? That gives the, chance, the other person a chance to say, uh, no, my wife's having a baby. I'm on the way to the hospital. It's not a good time to talk to me right now or whatever the case may be or about the sit down and eat dinner, whatever it is. So if you say, are you busy? They can say whatever's going on in their life and when a good time to talk to them is. You come back during that time, they're more likely to listen to what you had to say. Always ask for a referral. What that means is when somebody says no, somebody says yes, it doesn't matter either way. I always say, do you know anybody else that might be interested? And they may say, oh, butter braids, I love those things. And you didn't know my kid was in the program four years ago. You sold that neighbor and that neighbor and we used to go to, my wife worked down at the bank and she sold all the tellers at the bank and my, paid for, my kid paid for his whole trip to London, England every time that they ever went, okay? That's the kind of stuff that you hear. Um, so when you're going out, make sure that you are polite, that you ask everybody that you know, look on the back of the sheet. There's all kinds of information on there and your teacher's gonna go over and answer any questions that you have. Thanks for listening guys and enjoy the samples.